More and more people are turning to chatbots to assist with everyday tasks, whether it's help with a homework assignment or answering a basic medical question. Yeah, some are scoping out AI's ability to plan a meal for your family, as Eva Anderson explains a few of the options. What's for dinner? Instead of asking your kids, your spouse, or even yourself, why not ask a virtual assistant? There's an increasing number of AI options claiming to generate a weekly meal plan and grocery list to fit your budget and specific family needs. We're talking number of family members, dietary restrictions, cost, even store preference. I did the research on two options for you. First, an AI powered Buzzfeed quiz. My information's pretty easy to input. Meals for seven days, one person, no dietary restrictions. I'll enter a weekly budget of, we'll say 100. That boils down to $4.76 per meal, so maybe that'll be hard. For one person, I'll enter Cub Foods for the grocery store, no dietary restrictions. And I already have ham, turkey, and eggs in my fridge. I'll also add almonds and Greek yogurt, so I'll have it incorporate that. Generating results. So here's a week's worth of meals. Greek yogurt with almonds, turkey and cheese sandwich. Here's a grocery list it generated. Everything from chicken breasts and salmon fillets to garlic herbs and berries. I wonder if I could get all that for $100. So I did a price check on the Cub Foods website with all the items that weren't already at home. And when I totaled it up and didn't count the herbs and spices I probably have on hand, it came to $83.80. Not bad. So let's try another way of getting there, chat GPT. I put in all the same information. I even asked the chat bot to break down the cost of each item. Here's what it came up with. Seven days of meals and a grocery list broken down into food categories with a price behind every item so I didn't have to do it. The total came to $99.66. I then price checked one item from each section with the Cub Foods website and each item was within a dollar more or less. Honestly, that's pretty remarkable. But full disclosure, when I tried it before and gave it a budget of 85 bucks, it messed everything up and priced items at less than a dollar. You take the good with the bad. So it's always best to provide some assistance to your virtual assistant. It's not perfect yet. No. It'll, but, be, it'll but get it, there. You know, when, and when you're trying to come up with, you know, creative meal planning, mm -hmm. it, it maybe points you in the right direction. I'll take it.